So what are we doing today, Jacob? We're doing some volume work. What's mean uh, some bench press? Just cooked up a fat feed. Eggs on toast. Three eggs to be exact. And we're gonna go smash a gym sesh together. Move around the gym a little bit. This eggs has to be some of the best <laughs> eggs I've ever had. Cooked perfectly. I like it when it's the egg whites are cooked nicely because I don't like the raw eggs. But I like the when the yolks still a bit gooey on point. When I got back from Junior Worlds, Jacob and I got a letter from Italy. And it was a fine from when we were overseas on the scooters from last year, like a whole 12 months later. And it's 105 euros. Let's see if we can get out of it. Because I don't know, it seems a bit ridiculous. All these five star reviews on scooters, but they probably, probably posted it like just after they got back, not a year later. <laughs> yeah. And then they come a year later to get a ticket, and then they can't change their review. So many tourists must get tickets out. I was trying to think, you know, because we got pulled over, eh? And they didn't do anything. Why did they pull us over? To check our licenses. Yeah, but then they started, like, filling things all out. Normally, you just look at it, and then you oh, yep, you got your license. Oh, true, eh? They were, like, writing stuff down and stuff like that. Because that, that was the same day we got fined. It was literally, like, 20 minutes, or oh, half an hour later. So there's this. If you look at the plate, there's plus 10 gains. You don't leave any macro behind. Is that your pre-workout snack? Mm -hmm. What is it? A gold kiwi fruit? Mm -hmm. Bro, I'm running low on gold kiwi fruit. <laughs> well, we'll smash out the gym session and we'll probably rearrange the mahi station out a little bit. I hope the mic just doesn't hear my breathing. <laughs> oh, we can just cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Knee sleeves aren't even that stinky, honestly. Bro, some people's knee sleeves. Have you smelled Jason's? Yeah, I smelled his last week. Why are you smelling it? His mum pulled out. She's like, smell it. I know, I haven't even washed these at all. I don't know how you fit small though. Once you get used to like putting them on, there's like a specific technique that I do that I waste every time. Once you like fold it on your legs like this, you like pick it up once it's in line, grab it from underneath, lift your leg up, and you've got to twirl your foot a little sometimes. And you just slide it up. Once it's here, you unfold the top part. It depends how like smooth your skin is at the moment. If you're like sweaty, sometimes it's like RP10, bro, how hard it is. It's like a one rep max. Well, you gotta do two reps, so what happens after the one rep max? You just gotta smelling salts and it's smelling really salts. Dry scoop some pre. Yeah. I had to skip the beach shop because it wasn't coming for a couple of business days. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. It looks like bench press. 205 kilo bench press would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. One day or, or day one. Day. One day or day one? <laughs> one day or day one. a bit hard. That was harder than it should be. I just got one more set. I think it just feels real hard because there's no use to mark this form yet. But it's just practice practice. Okay, we're gonna go have some intermission. We need like some natural pre-workout. How were those squats? Good on the knees, surprisingly how good they felt. Considering I haven't squatted in what? probably two months. Yeah, but long. We have honey and Himalayan salt. Oh fuck, my one's dripping. Oh, Gotta go quick. quick. Hey, oh, no, oh, <laughs> go turn it. Teamwork. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> turn it. I'm... Do we gotta wipe the bench too? Bro. Oh no. Nah, we'll... Don't even taste bad, that. Eh? It's salty. I already feel the energy coming, bro. Do you feel the energy? <laughs> so mandible runs. Probably my favorite mid workout snack. We gotta get rid of those. I remember then. this one. Fly away. It's the first time of today. Today. Push. Only one of me to 
Push. Push. Here we go. Now that we're finished, uh, I want to rearrange the gym so I can get better angles when I lift. What were we saying? So, <laughs> all right, go on, let's move it. Try to change it up. I don't know. I think it always looks nice when it's moved into a different space. So now I'll be able to record my squats from here. And I have way more space to record. I can also record it from the front angle. There. And then same with deadlifts. I mean, depending which way I'm going, I can record from out there facing this way. Like there. And I have a bush in the background. I'll be squatting like this. Boom. That's what we're going to be eating today. Wrap, Nutri-Grain and an apple, and then I'll have a protein shake later. Yeah, overall it's a pretty chill gym set. It's really trying to alter my squat form. Also trying to figure out things like what I'm going to do. I'm considering getting a coach for myself because currently I just self-coach myself when I do all my training. I did a lot of research, just pretty much just studying like coaching and strength training. And and I've definitely like learned heaps and also heaps coaching people as well. Um, and I definitely have the knowledge about how to train and, uh, especially form, um, but you can always learn, you can always learn more. So I'm also having a new coach and a different coach introduces new concepts and how they uh, approach their coaching type of thing. When you start with a new coach or a new program or new form, new anything, you have to give it like a solid four to six to four to eight weeks or so to before you like actually judge whether this was a good idea or whether this is not so good you can't do like maybe one session or one week or maybe two weeks and be like oh this sucks you, you haven't given yourself enough time to one adapt to this new training so you're not going to see any progress regardless likewise if it feels awkward with that form if you haven't given it like a proper go you're not going to be able to fine tune into and settle into that new form and technique and there's only a few more months of this year i really want to lock down and keep working towards things and not just float around because only dead fish go with the flow you have to keep seeking new goals or new challenges because if you're not growing if you're not growing you're decaying and that's why you got to constantly be growing and looking for new goals and never settling because when you start to settle you start to decay <laughs> and you don't want that happening as then at least the other problems you get frustrated and there's one thing reflecting back on my training earlier this year didn't actually hugely enjoy it i got to the point where as i mentioned in one of my posts that it was like a chore to succeed i i, I was so driven to succeed but I, sometimes i saw it to be a chore rather than actually enjoying the process and i've definitely learned lots this year and made lots of improvements mentally my training and also just like I mean, strength-wise, I've definitely gotten stronger, which is really cool to see. It's good to see progress, especially after you put hard, hard work into it, man. You just can't give up. Even if you're putting hard work and you're not seeing progress, you need to look at maybe what's going wrong and what you can do to change. And just keep at the hard work. If you if you never give up, you, you never lose. So I definitely want to be more social and inclusive with maybe my training and then you know, hanging out with people doing things I can enjoy. I mean, I did a few fish trips this year, but not as much, like barely any. And I didn't really do much other than that. Do things and help others type of thing. We'll go for the Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, check the subscribe. We're growing. I think by the time this video came out, we would have hit 2,000 subscribers. So that's a big milestone, team. So let's keep pushing for towards that 10K. It'll be crazy, man, when we hit 10K. It's like... 
the momentum, the ball is rolling, and I definitely want to improve my content, my videos just like these, and how I talk, my style, and help like helpful videos as well so if you have any like recommendations or more videos you want to see if you want to see vlog videos like these um or similar to like maybe my other videos let me know down in the comments i really i do see them and i'll see you guys in the next video